Hi everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. Thank you very much for watching our earwax removal video today. Uh, just one patient in this video. So what you can see here, the patients actually try to remove their own earwax by pushing tissue paper into their ear and they've actually managed to jam it in really, really tightly. Uh, so they've impacted the, uh, the tissue paper and the wax together. So we've got a really, really blocked up ear canal here. Uh, you're just using the standard size on the tube here to remove some of this uh, tissue paper, first of all. Just trying to loosen it up a little bit. Uh, sometimes you'll get it out with suction, but a lot of the time you actually have to resort to the crocodile forceps to get this out. So you can see we've managed to pull a long, thin strip of this uh, tissue paper away. So we're just going to go in with the crocodile forceps now, just try and clamp onto this tissue paper and to draw this out of the ear canal. So you can see just tore a little piece away there. So we'll go back in now, see if we can grab another section of this tissue paper. Here we are, just getting down on top of it now. And as we wiggle this away, you'll see just how much uh, the patient had popped in there. There we are, as we get a grip, we're just gonna slowly, you've gotta be really careful when you're taking away these uh, tissue paper types uh, substances from the ear canal because you, it can draw and actually split the tissue paper as you're bringing it out. So you can see just how much, you can still go in there, just how much of that was coming away. So it was quite a, quite a large wedge of this. And you can see what it's done to the wax, it's, push the wax all the way down the canal, right down on top of the eardrum, actually impacted it against the eardrum. And the worst thing that could have happened then is the tissue paper has dried all the oil and all the moisture out of that wax. So we end up with a hard, solid wax lump actually physically stuck to the eardrum. So what I'm doing here is just taking a little bit of olive oil, just introducing a little bit into the canal. We've got to try and soften this up as much as we possibly can, because if it stays hard like this, don't forget, it's going to be dried at the back end and the front end there. It's going to become a solid block. There's no wiggle room in here because you're right against the eardrum. So you can't sort of maneuver it back and forth as we normally would. Uh, so you've got to rely solely on the suction, bringing this down the canal. But what you can see here is that it's, it's really just not budging. It's really tough old stuff. So the first lot of olive oil we put in is just going to start to sort of just soften the outside edge, just try and get those more porous parts of the wax to absorb that little bit of oil and just loosen up so it makes it a lot safer to take away from the patients here. Um, I mean, obviously, as you could probably understand, this lady was really, really struggling with her hearing uh, and had been like this, I think, uh, since April, I think the lady said. So quite a long time to be stuck like this as well. She was having a little bit of difficulty on the other side, but nowhere near as much as this one. And the, the uh, hearing on this side was far more intermittent, and you'll see why that is just in a second. But we're just really probing this wax at the moment, trying to pull as much of this away as we can, uh, looking for any looser, softer, or, or just a little bit more maneuverable pieces of wax that we can get out here. Um, thanks to everyone who gave us some feedback about uh, the what we like to call the floating head uh, Reese that we had in the last video. Um, yeah, it, it, it was kind of got a bit of a mixed response. I do like that format. We're going to keep doing the format, but we're gonna I'm going to try a few different placements of where I do my voiceovers within the video. Just and if you could give us some feedback as to what you. Uh, like to see. And we had a few people who uh, mentioned that sh me shot against the white background was too distracting when they were looking at the wax. So we tried to keep to the black background, uh, but I'll keep moving my position around a little bit over the next couple of videos. And, and you let me know which ones you prefer and we'll stick with our format moving forward then. Um, so you can see we've managed to break a little bit off. We introduced the crocodile forceps in there just a second ago. Uh, we managed to pull a long strip of skin away there and uh, we were using the crocodile forceps just to grip that and to take that and see if we could pull the whole thing away. Sometimes you're lucky and the skin will have penetrated in there enough that it will pull that out for you. There we are, you can just see, but look how tough this wax is. It is so solid. I mean, as an audiologist, you know, as, as doing wax removal, uh, this is the worst possible thing you could see in an ear canal. Uh, it's just so, so hardened up there. Patients really done a lot of, not damage as such, but really made our job very, very difficult here. Um, don't get me wrong, we thoroughly understand why people do it. When you're desperate, you know, with the rolling lockdowns we had here in Wales as well, 
Uh, it's very, very difficult to, to get wax removed and to try and find somewhere that does it. And you know, people do get really, really desperate and they will just try anything, bless them, to try and get this out. But as you can see in this situation, this is why we talk about you know, Q-tips, cotton wool buds, putting anything in your ears. Don't put anything smaller than your elbow in your ears. Uh, but you can see that what we've got here is, uh, is just so impacted and so, so difficult then to remove. But we're just trying to work around the outside edge now, trying to draw these, these harder pieces down from the side here. Really struggling. This is probably one of the most difficult ones I've done for a long, long time. Um, sometimes we, you know, it can be with the ear canals, it can be very narrow and that can cause problems. But this is, you've always got to be so ultra careful when you're taking wax away from this depth. And the, the mechanism that expels the wax normally isn't available this deep in the ear canal. Wax as we know it, don't forget, is produced in the outer two-thirds of the canal. So once it gets past this, uh, this sort of two-third gap into that inner deeper third next to the eardrum, this wax is going nowhere unless you actually remove it. You can throw all the drops in the world at this and it's just not going to budge. You're never going to get that out. Obviously, the longer that stays in there, the harder it gets and then it becomes really complicated to get this out. So, uh, we're still introducing olive oil at various times throughout this now, just to keep softening up. So we're, we're, we're teasing away the top layer, breaking that away, looking for any smaller parts of uh, softer bit of wax there to, to, to take those away, and then introducing a little bit more olive oil behind that then to re-soften the next layer and to keep doing that. But you know, it's painstaking work to try and get this out. Sorry, I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, if you've never seen one of our videos before, we post new EOAX removal videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 9pm UK time. I've got to remember all these now on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram TV as well. Um, if you haven't checked out the Instagram uh, channel yet, it's worth taking a look at it. There's a link in the description below to Instagram. We've been using a different format on Instagram for a little while, so uh, and it seems to be it's getting people quite like that particular format. So take a look at that one as well and see if that's something you'd uh, you'd want to see a bit more of on YouTube as well. Uh, don't forget. We always rely on your feedback. The channel does really well because you guys are so proactive in giving us the feedback we need and the advice we need uh, about what you want to see, how you like to see things as well. So please drop into the comment section below any, any suggestions you guys have as well. Um, we are scheduled to go live as well, me and Mrs. B. Uh, I think Mrs. B is doing all the thumbnails for that for us. But as soon as we've got a date for that live, you'll get a notification about that as well. If you are available around that time, come and give us a chat. You know, say hi, ask whatever questions you want uh, from me and Mrs. B, whichever one you whichever want to ask questions for. Uh, but that'll be coming up, I think, towards the end of next week. Um, but uh, I'll keep you posted on that one as well. So... As you can see now, we've got this sort of, we've managed to clear some of the top portion of the eardrum now. You can just see that thin layer of eardrum at the top there. Uh, but what we've got now is this really, really tough section here at the base. Um, it's really just kind of jammed right down in there. Uh, I'm putting a lot more olive oil, so really throwing the olive oil at this at the moment, mainly because of patient comfort, okay? If you're imagining trying to uh, the, take something away from the eardrum that's actually physically stuck to a very thin skin membrane, you've got to be ultra careful peeling that away, taking that away, but um, you also want to make sure your patient is comfortable with this being done as well because you will see uh, little flexions to the eardrum every now and then and it's just as we're, as we're pulling uh, just against the wax there it's actually drawing against the eardrum as well and just bending the eardrum just ever slightly like this um, so it can be a little bit uncomfortable if you imagine this is a really sensitive part of the ear so we're always checking in with our patients as well during uh, during these types of suctions uh, more so maybe than other types as well just to make sure they're doing okay they're not experiencing any uh, dizziness because that can happen when you're suctioning uh, deeper in the canal like this if you imagine you're drawing air uh, because you're suctioning deep in the canal, you're drawing outside air into the canal to get pulled into the suction. So it's constantly dropping the temperature then in the ear canal. It can make people feel a little bit giddy sometimes. Uh, if that did happen, then what we would do is say to the patient, you know, to let us know, we take a break just for a couple of minutes, allow the temperature to equalize, and then the patient will feel much better and we can carry on. So you're always checking in. You almost always remember you've got a patient, you've got a, you've got a, a person sitting in front of you, uh, and that person's comfort is 
is the priority, keeping that patient safe and making sure that we do the procedures to the best of our abilities, but also to make sure that that procedure is done uh, in a comfortable way for our patient as well. It's all, you've always got to remember you've got a patient there. So uh, just taking, uh, taking this little bit away, it's, we've got to that solid, really old dry wax. It's right against the eardrum. I'm sorry if I've said dry wax a lot of times, but you get, it, it's, it, it's really, really tough in there now when we get to this last little bit. I'm struggling and you can see that I'm probing various points along the, the surface of this wax uh, to try and find any loose section that we've got there Here we are, it's just starting to come away. Uh, we are working on the lighting, guys. Remember, I'm an audiologist, I'm not a video editor. I'm trying my best to try and get the lighting right. It's a whole new ball game for me. Uh, I did appear as though I some, somehow managed to either have a very tanned face and a not so tanned body, or I looked like somebody had superimposed my head on someone else's body. I wish that was the case, but uh, yeah, we, we struggled a bit to get a light right last time. So here it comes, you can see it's just managed to come out there. Now we just got just the top section flicked away from the eardrum. Uh, so now we're gonna get this last bit now. Very, very gently, you can see the gap we've got to work in here. I'm keeping to the larger suction tube. Normally I'd swap to the fine end at this point, but because it's so thick and so uh, hardened up in there, fine end's not gonna cut the mustard for this one. We're gonna I have to use the standard size on the tube. There we go. Look at how much of that lifted out of the valley. There we are. And put my hands down. I keep forgetting I'm talking on my hands. And then we're going to um, bring that last little bit of wax away there. You can see a little bit of dry skin come away as well on that, uh, that left-hand canal wall there. So fair play. Patient was an absolute trooper. They did so well to get through that. Not an easy extraction to sit through. Um, but patients, you can, it's a little bit misted up in here, but patients come through with a really solid block on the other side. You remember at the start of the video, I said that things were a little bit intermittent with this. Uh, what you can see here, is that there's a little gap just at the top of the wax, just above the, the, the top portion of the wax there. Um, that's why it's been intermittent. So as the patient's been chewing, yawning, jaw movement, the outer part of the ear canal is gonna be flexing like this. That gap is gonna be closing, opening, closing, opening like this, especially when you lay on it at night as well. So the standard size on the tube is not really getting the grip. It's the wrong shape. So we're gonna go in with the, uh, the Jobson horn here over the top of the wax, just fold it all forwards. There we are, you can see this just coming away really nicely. Perfect. So yeah, quite a, quite a large block of, uh, of wax edge, but just at the entrance, look at that eardrum. That is a picture perfect eardrum. That is so shiny, so pleasant. Lovely light reflex in the bottom left-hand corner. Hammer bone really clearly visible there, uh, coming down from top left to the middle. So yeah, really good looking uh, eardrum, that one. This is what we removed. So you can see the, the tissue paper. Look how big that chunk of tissue paper was. What's that? Uh, about half, just, well, not inches, isn't it? But uh, just over half an inch, or close on about three quarters of an inch, I would say. And then you've got that piece of wax you can see to the right hand side is what we removed from the second ear there. And take a breath. Okay, so uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, then please leave us a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, um, what do they call it on Instagram? Do you follow on Instagram? I think it's following. So if, you, if you're not following us on Instagram, follow us there. If you haven't liked our Facebook page, like us and follow us there. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, then subscribe to us and you'll get a notification if you hit the bell button there uh, every time we post a new Ewax video. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that, guys. Don't forget to comment below. Let me know about this format and which of the two so far you've seen you prefer uh, because your feedback will change how we do our videos moving forwards. Uh, as always guys, take care of yourselves and one another and I shall see you again really soon.